Good afternoon, ladies, and thank you for joining us in Far Above Rubies today. I'm so glad that each of you are here. Today's miracle that we're going to talk about can be found in Joshua chapter 6, and this is the story of Jericho. If you're not familiar with this story, Joshua now leads the children of Israel, and God has told him to march around with the people of God, to march around Jericho once a day for six days and that the Spirit of God, the Ark of the Covenant where God dwelt at that time, was going to march with them. It was going to lead them around Jericho once a day for six days and then on the seventh day they were to march seven times. The priests were to blow the trumpets and the people were to shout because God was going to give them this city and the walls would fall down. Important to notice here that the presence of God, the Ark of the Covenant, led the people. We don't always talk about that when we talk about the instructions that the children of Israel were given in marching around Jericho. The presence of God were to, was to lead them and they were to follow. That is so important in any miracle that happens in our lives. We have to be following the presence of the Lord, the leading of His Spirit. But usually, our story about Jericho ends right about there. The walls came tumbling down. Anybody ever heard that little Sunday school song? I've been singing it all day. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho when the walls came tumbling down. God made the walls come tumbling down, but we usually stop there and we don't keep going on in this scripture passage where it tells us that with their swords, these warriors of the children of Israel then destroyed everything in the city save Rahab and her household because she helped the children of God. Everything in this city of Jericho, this walled powerful city was destroyed by the children of God and then set on fire. There was a battle that took place after the walls came down. When God does a miracle in your life, it does not mean that the road is going to be smooth and easy. When God does a miracle in your life, sometimes there's a battle waiting for you on the other side. But that doesn't mean that God is not with you and that he has not delivered your situation into your hands. It doesn't mean that he's not given you the victory. But when you pray for a miracle, when you ask God to do a miracle in your life, you need to understand and you need to be aware that there might be a battle waiting on the other side. But he will be with you in that battle just as he was with you in the performance of the miracle. When Joshua was given instruction, he was not solely given instruction to just march around the city and everything would be peaceful and wonderful and it would just fall into their hands. No, God said, I'm going to make the victory happen. And the first step in making the victory happen is performing a miracle in your life, performing a miracle at your hands, at your obedience to the word of God and your following of the spirit of God. And then Joshua, you be ready for battle. And then Joshua, you burn everything of the enemies to the ground. And then Joshua, you make sure the children of God don't touch anything that belongs to the enemy, to the world, to the sinful nature. You go to battle and know that I am with you. Friend, if you're going through something and you're waiting on that miracle, you rejoice for God's going to give it to you. God's going to give you a miracle if you pray. I know he doesn't always perform miracles the way that we think they should be performed. Know that he doesn't always give us miracles the way that we think they should happen. Don't you think if Joshua had his way that he would have said, okay, God, whenever you let the walls fall down, why don't you just crush everybody and we don't have to go to battle? Wouldn't that have been so much easier than putting his life um, and his army's life at risk? But that's not how God works. God gives us a miracle, but he usually expects something of us. God usually expects that we do our part after he's done what only he can do. So you might get that miracle. You will likely get a miracle, even if it's not exactly what you're expecting. But do know, do be prepared, do pray up, because on the other side of the miracle, there's often a battle to be waged. But don't fret, don't worry. God is in it with you. And he will give you the victory just as he did in bringing the miracle in the first place. Go read Joshua chapter 6 and find out how Joshua and the children of Israel followed the presence of the Lord right to victory. I love you all. And if no one has told you lately, you are loved. You are cherished. 
You are valuable. You have worth beyond measure, my friends, and that worth is far above rubies. Thank you for being here today, and I will see you all tomorrow. God bless you.